it's dripping it's dripping y'all it's dripping hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome to my channel thank you for clicking on this video um today we're going to be doing this makeup look right here and this is my everyday makeup look everyday makeup routine if i were to wear makeup this is the look that i would be going for that is all um stay tuned if you want to figure out the deets and how i did this look Okay, are you recording? I don't know. Let's just check here. Yes, it shows that you're recording. Hi guys. Okay, so guys, this is my number one thing that I always start with is moisturizer. I'm currently using this Kales, Kiehl's, Kales, I don't know how to pronounce it. Kales, I think, I think it's Kiehl's. Um, ultra facial moisturizer for all skin types so I just like to use that and just get like a little come on now hello and just there we go I just like to get that much not a lot you know just enough to moisturize my face and then I like to take this Clinique Even Better Clinical Dark Spot Corrector and Optimizer. It looks like these. And I just like to take that, get some of that, and just massage that into my face, especially under, under my eyes where all the dark spots are. And go into my forehead. So foundation. So for today's foundation, wait, should I do my eyes first? I don't know. Let's just do foundation first and then we'll go into eyes. So the foundation that I've been using is this L'Oreal True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup right here. And can you see that? I hope I'm in the like bright, I don't know, but whatever. It's in the shade Warm. I don't know, okay. It's Warm. I don't know why I'm using Warm. I'm not Warm, obviously. But somehow it, it looks okay, I guess. But it's in the shade Warm W3. So I like to just take that and just pump that onto my wet. Oh, that's a lot. Um, I like to pump that onto my wet, what do you call this thing? Beauty blender or sponge. And then just go in. Ooh, it's dripping. It's dripping, y'all. It's dripping. Okay, so obviously it's like a very different color than my neck, but we'll make it work. We will make it work. Anyways, we're trying to be tan for what? What is it? Winter? Like have it all year round tan, right? I'm just gonna blend that into my neck as well. I'm just gonna take a little bit more and then blend that onto my forehead because the forehead be missing some love it needs to be all one color if you know what I mean okay so guys I'll be honest I've been a little sad these past couple of days. Um, today is Tuesday. It's Tuesday night, actually, here in Saipan. And I've been a little sad um, because I've been hearing so much about Kobe Bryant and his daughter and that they passed away. And I'm just, I'll be honest, I'm sad. So here's the thing. I was never a huge fan of football. Football. I was never a huge fan of basketball. Like I never watched basketball. Like you know, maybe once in a while I'll watch like the Celtics or the Clippers. Um, but I was just never into basketball the way I was with what is it football. So, um, but then hearing about Kobe Bryant and his daughter, and as well, let's not forget everyone else who was on the plane. I don't know their names exactly, but um, you know all those like lives that were lost in this helicopter crash i, I am like i cried <laughs> to be honest like last night i just been seeing a whole bunch of posts on it about 
Kobe Bryant and his daughter and on TikTok and I'm seeing it on Instagram and on Facebook and I'm just getting so like all this stuff is just building up in me and I started to cry and today actually when I was looking over it through my Facebook and my Instagram I was like looking at it and like oh my gosh like the just I, I think I cried maybe at least like three times today like I was that emotional about it and I'm not it's weird because again I'm not a huge fan of basketball I'm not a huge fan of Kobe Bryant but for some reason I just I just couldn't help myself like um but um one thing that I do know is that he is a he is a Catholic Kobe Bryant is a Catholic and so is his family this is what I heard from other people on Instagram um that he was seen at mass the morning of the helicopter crash you know and I think that's just an amazing thing that you know he was able to do that to live out his faith and not be ashamed of it because I feel like a lot of us a lot of us Catholics I'll say it like we get I think I feel like we get made fun of and we get mocked by people I'm not gonna say who but um, you know for for having our faith for believing in Jesus Christ and you know in the way we view things um, and it's and it's pretty awesome for a guy like Kobe Bryant a celebrity a well-known athlete basketball player i don't even know how many awards he got for it um to still live out, live out his faith um to the day that he dies so that's pretty amazing but moving on i need to get a makeup wipe so i'll be right back so i'm just gonna prime my eyes with this infallible total cover foundation but i don't really use it as a foundation i just use it as concealer or like a you know something to prime my eyes with so just take a little dot like that and we're just gonna go in and, you know, we're just gonna go, we're just gonna go, go. Sparingly, me when my trust is without borders. Let me walk upon the wall with you will call me. Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander And my faith will be made strong In the presence of Should I do, should I do like covers, like acapella covers? Cause covers, covers, should I do acapella covers? Cause obviously I don't know how to play an instrument Um, but should I do that? I don't know Should I, should I not? I have no idea I want to, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of scared um, of like what people are going to say. Be like, oh, she sounds horrible. Why is she even singing? What the heck? So I'm just going to take this. This is a Wet n Wild Coverall Press Powder in the shade Medium. I'm just going to take some of that in a fluffy shadow brush and set my eyes with that so it does not crease at all we don't like creasing y'all we don't like creasing okay i think we're good are we good are we good i don't know can check okay we're good i have a headache what the heck okay so i'm gonna take okay 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 y'all okay well, let's get down to b's knees so I'm just going to use the Sonia Kashuk um, eyeshadow palette and there's no name for it I don't think or it's called Eye on Neutral. Um, I'm just going to take, it's really messy, pillar. So I'm going to take this shadow right over here and tap off the excess of course and just buff that into my crease. Just buffing it in. Just buffing it in. Not going directly into the crease, but just, you know, just just lightly windshield wiper motions onto the crease. So tomorrow I have an ear tribute. So hopefully tomorrow when I wake up, I won't cry anymore because of this whole Kobe issue. I mean, yes. I mean, can you imagine even how like his wife and his daughter feels oh my gosh like i cannot imagine the pain that they're feeling right now that must be like 
so hard. Like, I never experienced that. I never experienced losing, a, like, a close loved one, like, an immediate member of the family loved one. Um, um, but that is just so hard. I cannot imagine. I just, like, just, like, my thoughts and my prayers are with them right now. Um, okay, what else? Okay. So, ooh, 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 ooh. Really don't know how this video is going to turn out. I have no idea, but I'm hoping for good things. Yes, you're still recording. So I'm just going to take this, the lightest shade on this palette right over here, which is this milky, I don't know what it is, color, shadow. I'm going to take it on a flat shader brush. And then I'm just going to pat that onto my eyelid. Just starting from the center and then working my way out. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about. Just keeping the eyelids bright and open um, and not so much closed in. So I'm gonna put, wait, I'm not gonna put it away yet. Not just yet. Um, I'm just gonna grab a, what is it? I forgot what this brush is called. It's like a liner brush or something. Um, so I'm gonna take, I don't know, I'll just take, I'm just gonna take this black right over here. The black is black in this palette. The black is black in this palette. I'm gonna take some of that and just line my lash line. I'm not gonna do a wing line. I'm not gonna do some fancy like that. No, just line it. Just a simple line on my lash line, on my upper lash line. Just a simple line. Nothing big, nothing too fancy schmancy. Just a line, y'all. So next I'm gonna do concealer. I'm gonna use the Benefit Boring Cakeless Concealer. Looks like that. Cute packaging and all. You guys gotta work fast with this one. Cause if you let it sit, it's just gonna sit in there and it's not gonna blend well. If you know what I mean. Work fast, work fast, Papa. Come on, come on. You could do it. You could do it. You don't do the many years. Keep it bow, chin, this area. Yeah. And then we're gonna blend that out. Let's blend. So I'm going to use this Too Faced Born This Way um, concealer. I'm going to take a little bit of that and go on my nose area where my nostrils is because I always seem to miss that part. And it's just like the foundation, it shows when you look like the foundation just looks off over there. So I'm just going to use that. So y'all know how this air kind of got wiped off by the concealer. I'm just going to go in with a fluffy brush and just blend it out a little bit so it doesn't look so harsh. Okay. Oh, I have the worst headache right now. I don't know why. Um, how do I look? How do I look? How do I look? I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. This is like, I don't know. Okay, looking good. Looking good. Um, I'm gonna bake. Let's bake. Let's do some baking, shall we? Um, I'm just gonna. It's just the regular process where you just put on your nose and all that areas, and where you apply your concealer and you bake. Okay, it's not that special anymore. We all know what it is. I'm gonna just skip that part. 
okay okay thank you okay y'all we're back i'm just gonna fluff away at this baking stuff this powder to reveal a beautiful face <laughs> So I'm going to take this e.l.f. dual eyeshadow um, and I'm going to take the lightest color in there. So I'm going to take this shimmery color out of here. Let me just swatch it for y'all. Very cute, very pretty. I'll take that and I'm going to put that in my inner corners. Ooh. So I'm gonna take this blush right over here. This is called Low Low Key, and it's from Urban Decay. Um, they have like the cutest blushes ever. And um, where's my blush brush? I don't know. Where is it? Hold on. Where is it? I find it. I'm gonna take some of that, and I'm just gonna apply like regular blush, regular blush. So I'm actually planning to go to LA soon um, for reasons you don't have to know but when I go I really do want to visit the Staples Center and see you know where Kobe Bryant walked played sweat and you know like lived his life I don't know if they do tours or I don't know what it is. Do they do tours? I don't. I have no idea. But I'm just gonna go see if there's anyone out there. If people are, putting, you know, who are putting like flowers down for them, for him and his daughter. I don't know. But I'm gonna try and pay a visit over there and see what it's like. I I've, I've seen. I don't know if it's true, guys. I have no idea if it's true. I feel like this whole video is about Kobe Bryant and his daughter passing away, but. Um, I don't know if it's true, but I've seen a lot of posts on Instagram and TikTok where they said that, you know, when they found um, Kobe's body, it, he was hugging his daughter or kind of in a way protecting his daughter. I'm like, oh my God, that's just so sweet. I feel like crying every single time I like hear or see his face on Instagram. I'm just like, stop. Stop it. Stop making me cry. So I'm going to use this MAC Studio Fix Contour Palette. And I'm going to just contour a little bit. Let's, let's, let's go ahead and contour our faces. Okay. Contour, 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 contour. So I'm just going to take my all-time favorite YouTuber out there, Heart Defender, What's Up Girl, or That's Heart. I'm going to take her e.l.f. highlight right here. I'm going to mix the both of that. -na 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 -na. And just highlight to the gods. Highlight, highlight, highlight. Highlight is important for your makeup, guys. It is vital that you highlight on your cheekbones, down your nose. And on your cupid's bow. Okay, so I'm gonna go put on some lashes and now I'll be back. King, bye bye. I'm back, I'm back, and I'm back with the lashes. How's it look? Hello, hello, hello. Um, so now it's time for lips. Uh, I'm going to take this lip liner. I've always, I always go for, I always go for a nude lip. I don't know why. Um, it's time to get out of your box, Paula. Get out of your comfort zone. Come on, Neil. But today we're gonna go for a nude lip because it is my everyday 
makeup routine, if you know what I mean. By the way, guys, I don't wear makeup every day, but if I were to wear makeup every day, I mean, when I do, okay, so I don't wear makeup every day, okay, that's the truth, but when I do wear makeup, this is the look that I usually go for. So I'm going to take this lipstick from Clinique and it's in the color Sugar Pop. It's very cute. It looks like this. Um, I'm going to take that and just fill in the lines. Okay, last but not least guys, we need to get our setting spray in. So I like to use the MAC Prep and Prime Setting Spray. I'm going to do a little... That's it. That's all I'm going to do. By the way guys, I'm filming this thing at night and it's not day, so I'm not really going to leave it on. But, you know, again, if I were to wear makeup during the day, this is the makeup look that I would actually go for. So, there you go. By the way, I keep looking at my mirror right here. Sorry, I should be looking at the camera, but my bad. Okay, okay. So yeah, guys. Let's take a couple selfies. Go follow me on TikTok, PaulaHelene25. Let's go. Okay guys, so this right here is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm sorry that all it was was just me putting on makeup and talking about Kobe Bryant and how sad I am about it and the whole situation. Um, but, you know, it's 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 current events and I just, I need to talk it out. You know what I mean? And it's good to talk it out with you guys. So, yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well and, you know, the process of making this makeup look. This is just like my everyday makeup look. If I were to wear makeup, this is the look I will go for. Unless I wanted to go for more a natural look, but maybe I'll do that in a separate video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and just for sticking it through the end. If you're here right now, at the end of the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, also comment down below if you want me to do any other kind of videos, any other requests let your girl know and also don't forget to press on the notification bell to be notified when my videos will be uploaded so there guys thank you guys so much for watching happy 2020 i hope your year is going great so far i know it kind of started off with kind of crappy worldwide with the whole war threat kind of thing and then the coronavirus and now colby and i'm like what else is there um but you know here we are, we're still alive. You and I still both have a heart beating and we're alive and breathing. So just be grateful for that. Live for today, stop living for tomorrow. Um, stop waiting to be happy tomorrow. Live today and be happy today, right now, because tomorrow is never promised. In fact, the next second or the next moment is never promised. So just remember that. And that is what I have to say. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, love you guys. So, I mean, uh, hello, hello, testing, can you see me, can you feel me, do you hear me, do you, okay, peace, okay, Hello, how's it going? It's your girl right here. Hi guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hello. Hey guys. So the foundation that I've been using is this L'Oreal 
<laughs> so now I'm just gonna prime my. Can't talk about my life. I told you guys. Um, so. <laughs> this is the. So I'm gonna take this. Lip, 